going to start with Gandalf, the most important hero of Gondor. As you can see, he can now mount as Grey, so you don't have to stay in your base waiting for the points. As you can see, you can now cancel lightnings for two, something that was not possible in 1.06. You can see that you have a shit bubble icon. You can actually now see when the bubble is ready or on cooldown. You can still see the leadership stats by clicking this portrait. As you can see that you have now 100% combat experience from 200 in 1.6. And this patch will reduce a lot of the combat experience uh, leadership or uh, ranking up units too fast. Now Gandhi also received 500 health with the Gandalf the White. It was 300 in 1.06. So that was Gandhi for you. Time for the captain of Gondor. Boromir now costs 1,400. He was 1,600 in 1.06. As you can see, now work faster. So it, it can be more uh, useful on the map, and especially for new strategies, like in 2v2, even in 1v1, and obviously 3v3 and 4v4. He also attack faster now, do more damage. You now need level 3 to get the, the Orn. Uh, you get now 75% damage leadership. The captain of Gondor now at level 5 instead of level 6. As you can see, he attacked very fast, so you can really get the script. Uh, fast and uh, get your Orn. Your Orn gonna be very important, especially against cavalry, because now you can stun them also if they are level 1. So your opponent now need to buy banner if Boromir is on the field, or get your horses level 2. I'm gonna show you now the Orn on the cavalry. This is one of the greatest improvements of Gondor, this Boromir being more valuable now, very useful against spikes, but also against cavalry. And that was Boromir for you guys. And we are going to talk now about Faramir. Faramir now comes level 1, you might think that that's a nerf for him, but he actually level up faster now, so it's, it's actually the same. He also shoots faster now, uh, which that was a huge improvement for him, and he can be more useful now with Boromir on the field. Captain of Gondor now, he need rank 6, it was 7 in 1.6 before. Uh, yeah, him and Boromir now together they make a good uh, a good combo as they get captain of gondor faster so you can actually go for some combo strategies uh, you know six uh, Fami was also useful but he was mostly made for nazgul's i think now he's it's more than just coming out for nazgul so uh, that was Fami for you uh, just reminding you, at level 1 he also come with the mount available. We are going to talk now about Rohims. Now Rohims come as 5 instead of 4 in 1.06. And it's been uh, very useful in this patch, as you can now spawn them in the mortar base or try to do some rushes into the Edinger bases. Uh, you can also use, like, if you're playing mortar, good land spawn them there, get the troll cage down, or whatever, FO2 
FOD is building or but not also against FOD, you can also use these fire heaps against force of light and spread them in the map. So it's a nice uh, a nice change and it's a summon that I've been using a lot in this patch when I'm playing Mondo. The Latino Rohirrims. Let's talk about the armory and shields. So now to buy shields in this table it cost 1000. It was 1300 in 1.06. Also the the armory is expensive now. 700 for forge blades. 700 for heavy armor. And 500 for banner. Used to be 600 for forge blade, 600 for armor, and 300 for banner. As for the fire, now it costs 700, and 600 it was in 1.06. Actually, the shield's being now cheap. It's a very good uh, thing for Gondor, especially against Mordor. And obviously, the armor is a bit more expensive because of all the features that Gondor has now, the heroes being better and etc. So that was the armory and shields for you. Rangers. Ranger now cost 500 from 600 1.06 and also the build time is now 30 seconds from 40 seconds. In 1.06 there was a bug where if you group soldiers and with rangers and tower wards with rangers this banner button will disappear. Now you can upgrade those combos and get the banner. Marketplace. Marketplace can now be destroyed after you bought everything, as the bonus will still remain. In 1.06, if you destroy it, you don't keep your bonus. It is time for Gondor type shields. We have some changes on these ones. Let's start with the damage. The damage was increased to 300 from 250 without fire. And with fire to 200 from 300 in 1.06. The range with fire was reduced to 420 from 450. As you can see, there is a small difference. Uh, when I press that, you can see that the fire one is a bit more further than the other one. Not a big change, but we felt like this could change something uh, uh, on the scatters. Let's check. It's a small difference, but uh, when you have more than one, you can see uh, it's a, a good change there. Although it's not like a Big, big nerf to the fire one. Let's continue. The splash damage with fire was reduced to 25 from 40. So that means the, the kata will, when they hit the units, they do less damage on them. Like when you use the scatters against Isengard combo or so, and so on. The Siege Work Firestone research goes now 1000 from 800 to 1. Six. So that's the price of the fire when you buy. So now it costs 1000 instead of, instead of uh, 800. The Siege Work Production bonus was reduced uh, between the level 1 and level 2. So now you get 10% faster build speed from 25 that was in 1.6. And when you have the building at level 3, you will get 20% faster build speed from 50%. Also, now the katas take more damage from the fire, like when you're playing against Rohan and he's yes, pretty much with fire, they take more damage from that, or let's say combos or elves. Also the comment point was increased to 8 from 5, and the bounty value to 50 from 20. So all these changes were made. So. Katas uh, receive a nerf because in 1.06, uh, in our opinion, they were too strong, so we wanted to reduce this uh, Kata leaping, if we can say it like that. 
up, I didn't forget anything, otherwise you can sit check the changelog. Uh, it's not easy to remember all the numbers or stuff, but I did my best. Anyway, if you don't like, like me, remembering numbers, the only thing that you can remember now is that the katas were nerfed in Overwatch 9. Let's finish with the archery and the barrack. Now you only need three archers to get level two, and three soldiers to get level two with the barrack. So this open also uh, maybe new strategies. You can now rush combos more faster than 1.6. It's very important that the, the people that come to play the patch you know, knows that you only need three archers to level up, so you don't make that fourth one, which can. finish uh, with the knights. The knights now receive or have 10% more damage against fights. Uh, it is hard for me to show you the, the different fight that you can have against fights because there is the fight on the land. Remember that that now gives 45% farmer. But there is that fight. There is the fight with the horse level 2 uh, against spikes with blade, without blade armor with heal ready and so on so it's very hard but uh, to show you that uh, you do that however just keep in mind that you get 10% more damage against spikes so at least you'll be able to maybe remember that anyway guys that was it for Gondor uh, I hope I was clear I hope out of those 10 things I show you you will remember one or two that can help you when you're going to come when you're gonna come to play with us so uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah let's let's go for the Rohan one